Hey guys, welcome back to DW Eats, the farm in the bedroom. Yes, this is the bedroom. Have a look. There's a window. You can see outside. Look, there's a window. You can see outside. So yes, and I can give you a little glimpse of, yes, the pumpkin on the bed. <laughs> look at the pumpkin on the bed. Oh, and all my every little thing. But anyway, guys, it's been a while since I take you on this journey of how I'm getting on with my plants. They're doing fantastic. They're doing fine. Oh my gosh, guys, I had to be cutting back the chayotes. They're all in these pots. They're growing really nicely. I'm just going to show you a few of them. Oh, the roots are coming out at the end of the cups, but we're not worried about that. Hold on. So yes, guys, the, um, it's still early days because we can't take them out yet. So I have to be struggling and I still have more seeds to plant, you know. So these are what you're looking at. These, um, this is one of the green chayote, um, the dark green one. You can see, um, don't look at them and thinking, where are all the big leaves? Remember, we're still in winter. They're still indoors growing. They're not ready to be taken outdoors yet. So I have to be clipping them at the sixth node to ensure that they um they stay. Give them an energy, because the energy from the roots, because basically you don't want the roots to struggle too much when um when they're at this stage. So I'm going to show you. Let me see if I can show you this one. If I, oh, you see the roots coming out there? Sometimes you can ease it out a bit now, but let's see. Oh, yeah. If I ease that one out a bit, you can see. You see the roots, guys? So these are my chayote roots. I'm just taking a chance. So have a look. You see that? That's the roots there. We don't want, remember, not to overwater. Just sprinkle a little bit. If you notice there, it's pushing out, um, Amari and Spice, I hear my cats in the background there. Hold on. You can see it's pushing out uh, young ones in the corner there. See? New shoots coming out. Yeah, you can see the new shoots. You see, it's pushing out new shoots there. It's getting wrinkled, but it's okay. As long as the roots are not damaged, I try not to overwater. I sprinkle water on them, and as well, I use a fan. Remember, they need to think that they're outside. Remember that? You need to give them that security and, you know, that feel of nature to ensure that yes they are indoors but they're outdoors getting you know they feel like they're outdoors getting all the fun the breeze that you know strengthen this the, the the leaves and the vines and you know all of that so here's another one here as i said i just sprinkle the water i just sprinkle the water on them to keep them moist I don't want to overwater them because when you overwater, they get they rot. You see, look at that root there. See that root? They rot. So we don't want to overwater at all, at all, at all. We don't want to overwater. So there's my chayote, and I have look at this one. This is another. Can you see that one? This one is tall, and look at that. And it's pushing out as well. Look, the roots coming out here. So sooner or later, I'll have to cut the whole thing off. I'm not gonna disturb this one. Just wanna show you. Yes, it's strong. Yeah. So what I do, I use the rainwater. I catch rainwater, and I just sprinkle the rainwater on them. So they're doing fine. They're doing fine. So not only are my um. My green church is doing fine. I've got the white ones here as well. Let me see if I can get the camera up a bit more. All right, that's better, isn't it? That's better. So, yeah, so I wrap them in. I like to make sure that they, you know, they're not over water. I protect them with the paper towel. So this one now was, I think it had a little bit too much moistness on it. So what I did, I put it in. I wrap it in the paper towel to keep to kind of help dry it out a bit. So you see, it's literally look at the there it is. Just pushing out new new roots there. See that? 
to keep it more see the roots building around it and look you see that oh look you see that strong root that is sending out so that root is coming way look guys that root is coming way from there to here so just by wrapping that round there and keeping that moist put it back in the cup because it's my protected one this is one of my protected one yeah so that stays in the cup I protect I have to protect my girls you know guys these are my girls <laughs> these are my girls You're right so we put it back up here if you notice it was up here so it's uh it's getting the light so yes also i have the gungo peas they're doing fine you see the gungo peas i just sprinkle some water on them as well look at the root system of the gungo peas you see the root system yeah the roots are strong that's what i want i am not going to disturb them at all let them stay there and you know keep hydrated get the fan on them so those are my jamaica six months gungo peas they are growing tall i am thinking that they're getting too much light you know i have a light system here that really works so good on them you know really works good so that stays and then if you look you see my my peppers you see the peppers here see they're coming on as well lots of peppers also if i bring them over so you can see some peppers still there not all of them um has um has made it but they're coming just have to be patient there's some over there just have to be patient with the with them guys so 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 there's some peppers over there can you see these ones peppers peppers these are all my peppers i'm going big on my peppers this year i want to make sure i have tons of peppers growing this year see that so it's hard work it's not easy you know turning the room and also i have some more chayotes here can you see the chayotes can you see them they're beautiful aren't they <clears throat> Look at the chayotes. They are beautiful. And I still look, they're sitting on a bed of um pepper seeds. They're not pushed out yet, so I'm watching them. So but I want everybody to get the light. These now the churches they go back into the dark. They were wrapped up. I just took them out to show you. They have been wrapped up in the um in the dark. If you notice that they're pushing out their vines. The tendrils are trying to push out. The tendrils are the things that hold on. If you you see it went once it can you see the tendrils are the little let me get up here. Okay, I'll show you. And then there's some here on the windowsill. Can you see? There's some here on the windowsill. And there's a garden waiting to be to be um you notice my garden. It's not ready yet, but here, here's it. So this is it, right. So this is a tendril. If you look. It's trying to hold on to something there, but there's nothing. So these are at the window. Look. So these are all my chayotes, chayotes, peppers. The peppers are fine. The peppers are doing really good. Look at that. Everything looks really nice. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, guys. And keep track stay tuned right so here is a tendril you see <clears throat> sorry about that you see the tendril here there's a tendril trying to find somewhere to hold on to so sooner or later i have to put a stick there to hold that so these are some young peppers there and these are the white chayotes they're all the white up here i think yeah all the white chayotes there they're they see that's that's yeah all these are all white chayotes up here is all the white chayotes apart from this one this one is doing fine i love it so much i am in love with my little garden here and of course guess guys i have a little banana tree there <laughs> but let me show you there's a fan here the fan there's a fan that keeps the plants really energized you know keep them fit 
so they grow with strength and then there's my lighting system can you see the lighting system so when i turn this on now it keeps the um the plants like it's tropical it's outdoors you know make it go so if i if i turn this light on you'll see you see so that's that's a blue one oh you see how bright that one is and if i turn it on to this one hold on you get a red one see you get different shades of lighting and then you get the red one you see that so it shines on all the plants here and give them that effect of outdoor that outdoor feeling so i'm gonna and it listen even and i have the heated mat as well you know if you look there's a heated mat underneath there if you can see there's a heated mat yeah to make sure the plants um they developed properly heat they get the heat they get light they get water and they get um the fan so they get everything in here they get everything in here guys so anyway guys i am going to go now so thank you very much for how oh, should I say? I thank you for everything that you have done for this channel. The hard work that I've put in. You wonder, as a gas engineer, where do I get the time? But this is my my downtime, my happy time, my moment where I have to come in and just look at my girls and my I call them my girls and just talk to them and feel good. I get energized just seeing them grow. The nature has taken them and pushed them how they, you know, and, and, and they develop into ladies and, you know, nice ladies and give me peppers, chayotes, peas, beans, you name it. So there it is. So anyway, I'm going to say thank you very much for staying with me. I love you so guys so much. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. And there is more to come. Stay tuned and come on this journey with me. I do thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Take care now. Bye-bye.